This is warm up one makes ten in Java. Given two ints a and b, return true if one of them is ten or if their sum is ten. Um, so first, let's reiterate what this poem says, and then we'll go over the simple cases. So um, the parameters we are given are, I'll actually write this in blue, um, int a and int b. It says return true if one of them is 10. So um, if a equals 10 or b equals 10, we return true. Or um, we also return true if their sum is 10. So we also return true if a plus b equals 10. So now let's go over the sample cases. So here we have 9 and 10. Though their sum is not 10, b equals 10. As a result, we just return true because it satisfies this case. So um, these are the cases to return true. Next, we have 9 and 9. You can see that none of these conditions are satisfied. Neither of them are 10, and they do not sum to 10. As a result, we just return false. Now we have case 1 and 9. Though um, a does not equal to 10 and b does not equal to 10, this condition, oopsie, I'm sorry about that. Uh, sorry, this condition is satisfied. 1 plus 9 or a plus b equals 10, so we return true. So let's just implement that. So the only conditions we need to consider are these conditions. So we can just hard code these conditions. So if a equals 10 or b equals 10, we return true. This um, operator, if you haven't seen this before, this operator right there is called the or um, bit operator, which basically says if one or both of them is equal to true, then we return true. And you'll see that this satisfies this case, that we return true if one of them is 10. The other case is if the sum, or a plus b, equals 10. In this case, we return true again. Um, you'll see that this is the only other condition we need to consider, which is right there. Finally, if none of these conditions are satisfied, we return false. And you'll see that if we run our solution, it works.